Our modern day fire engines are not a far cry from their horse drawn predecessors. Well, with a few differences, of course. Here at the Remington Carriage Museum in Cartston, Alberta, Canada, we have a few horse drawn fire engines, and it is easy to pick out right away the many similarities to our modern day fire trucks. Just like today, many horse drawn fire engines used a pump to get the water flowing through the hoses. This one has a four cylinder gasoline engine for pumping at a rate of 1600 liters or 350 gallons per minute. Another similarity is in the alarm sound it makes while driving through the streets. Modern day fire trucks are often met with bystanders covering their ears to protect themselves from blaring sirens. The horse-drawn fire engine has a similar way of garnering attention. The driver would activate the alarm by stepping on this foot pedal. The pedal would then pull back and release this spring-loaded hammer striking the bell. A stark difference between our modern day and a horse-drawn fire engine is the absence of a braking system, which can be very dangerous for a vehicle traveling at top speed. These fire engines had to rely on a harnessing strap called the breeching in order to slow down. The breeching is a broad strap that passes around the hindquarters of a horse in harness and is part of the apparatus that allows the horse to stop or reverse an attached vehicle. However, these vehicles were traveling as fast as they could to get to the fire. So the chances of them being able to make a sudden stop if someone got in the way was highly unlikely. That is part of the reason why the same thing we practice today was just as relevant in the past, by clearing the road as fast as you can. Mm.